Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my um, Darkness Falls series. So I'm just kind of finishing up some work I did last night around the base. Got a P225 made last night. Um, I'm liking the pistol pistol better than the um, the AR. I just think it's it just feels like it's faster firing. So I went with the pistol. It's pretty much the same damage. A little less magazine size though, I think. So what I'm doing is I'm just kind of reinforcing the walls here around the doors. We're going to be doing this around the entire base. Just don't have the concrete and the rebar yet to do it. So I kind of did around there, around here a little bit, near the front where they dug a hole in before. We're going to go outside here now, but it's morning. Didn't do much last night. I was just too afraid to come out here uh, for obvious reasons. Oop. Nope, we want to do... Uh, actually, can I copy this shape? No, I cannot. I can copy the rotation, though. There we go. Let's replace this with concrete. So let's just get a bit of this updated. What I can, anyway. Yeah, I'm out of cobble. I didn't actually bring any cobble out with me. So... And the iron is the only iron I've had from knocking stuff, like knocking plates off the wall. So... Let's just grab a bit of this. Can use this to upgrade with. This is all going to be replaced anyway. I'm, I've, been, I've decided I'm going to make the walls three thick, I think. So all this needs to be updated to reinforced at some point. Uh, that should give us enough to kind of repair this. Out of iron, eh? Okay. Yeah, so I mean, all this needs to be done. I didn't bring the cobble down because I didn't think I would need it. Apparently I do. Alright, what do we got left? We got lots of concrete left. Okay, cool. So, I need to make more rebar. Oh, we got 74. Might be enough. Uh, I do need to make another... Um, yeah, because I want to put... Let's just upgrade these this corner. There we go. Should just be able to get between these two. There we go. I want to be able to put another door in here before the Horde Knight. I think I want to do it sooner rather than later because I ran into issues last time. I think the door is going to be... Like, this will be the edge on one side. we got one, two, three, four, five, and this would be the edge on the other side. It's not the perfect spot, but hopefully with this open, it'll signal the uh, zombies to kind of come this way. I hope. All right, let's just get this full reinforced. Yeah, because the zombies that came at the back and over there and over there just came in the doors, you know? Pretty much. There's a little bit of damage done to the building, but they pretty much just came in the doors. So if we do the same on this side, I think we're going to be gold, I think. Now, them breaking in here and stuff. Like, we need to upgrade all of this. And on the inside, too, I think. We need to make it so that they don't see this as a way to go through to get to me. Yeah. A lot of work has to be done. We need so much concrete. And I always talk about if you're going to make a base, make a base with a small footprint. The smallest footprint you possibly need. But, like... Well, you're here early. Yeah. What can I do for you? Nothing right now. I'm going to go ahead and do this, though. Just so the zombies don't see this as a quick way to break through. Alright, well, let's actually... Go ahead and do this, too. Alright, that's about as much as I want to do right now, I think. We gotta make more, um... We gotta make steel, we gotta make concrete, we gotta make a whole bunch of stuff. I really needed to take stock of my crops, too, so I made some more farm plots. These things have been weathering well. I'm kind of shocked that the zombies haven't completely and utterly destroyed my entire crop field here. I don't know whether I'm just getting lucky. 
or what it is, but I think it's probably just getting lucky. We're going to leave these, I think, too. Now, I want to take this out today. I don't know what the easiest way to do this, though, is... Uh, this is going to take so long. I think we've got the... I think we've got an auger upstairs. Maybe I risk the auger. Because it's got to come down. You know, any obstruction to them seeing an easy path to me is going to be an issue. Now, I think they probably... When they broke through there... They probably just came in and ran this way and then fell off here and started heading over this way. That's my guess. But I don't know for sure. Alright, let's just fix this up before we go in. Alright, so the stairs took almost no damage at all, which is a good sign. A little bit on this side. So this part of the base barely took any damage at all. Like a little bit of hits here or there. Which leads me to believe that they don't really care about whacking this stuff. They just care about getting to me. So that's all good. We do need to upgrade as much of this as we can. Okay, so that takes care of the repairs here. Right? Yeah. Nothing else along here that took damage. Nope. Alright. A little bit on the wall. Most like probably straight like most of this damage over here I think is just like stray shots from me. Most likely. Um Yeah. I gotta be able to see through there. I took a little bit of damage, not much. Once it's upgraded it won't be so bad. But yeah, like I said, I think the, the final incarnation won't be... Like, we won't be outside here. We'll be in the main tower part here. Up here, fighting. Not there. Like, we could probably use that as a fallback. Maybe if we need to, but... Come on. There we go. But I don't know if we'll ever need that. We might. Alright. Okay, that's pretty good. Now we gotta figure out what we're doing with this. Maybe we just drop the whole thing and then just rebuild it. I can't get rid of these guys. Can I just break them? Ow. I didn't take any damage. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, because I don't think I want to have that as the floor because that I can't put anything on that. Right? That's the block right there. So that's gonna all go. So we wanna I think we wanna drop this. There we go. Leave it like that for now. And we'll just like actually how much of this can I collapse? take this out. Those things give you great electrical parts, by the way, if you're wondering. That was five electrical parts for a light bulb. So if you ever see them around, the best place to get them is the, um, the bear den. The bear den's got them all out the back, all around the front, like on all the balconies and stuff. Okay, we may be able to just drop this whole thing. See if it happens. Nope. Uh, but I think the P225's got us covered, though. I think if we get a Screamer... And I haven't stupidly left one of the doors open. We should be able to smoke it real quick. Nope. Like, what are you... Oh, wait. That's... Oh, there we go. That was what it was. It's being held on by a railing. Yeah. Yeah, the railing was holding on to it. I'm glad I dropped this though, because now we can just build a proper car port and everything here.
I don't know. We broke a lot of iron here. I'm shocked that it, we haven't got one yet. That's the gods there that are angry at us. There she is. Just as I was finishing up here. I thought I heard her out front. Let's find out here though. I hear ya. Turn my light off. Oh yeah, she's right at the front door. Okay. Doesn't look like she's a, uh... Yeah, she's not. Nice. Screw you, kiddo. Done. Excellent. Okay, so we got room for our garage over here. Get those updated. And now, I think when we do the garage though, like we should put an angle, like have it come out on an angle this way. So that when they come in, they get funneled along the angle and then go around this way, in theory. And I think if the stairs on this side are gone, they won't see this as a way to get to me. This will just be a nothing over here. Right? I think that's what we do. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do it. I put you in there. Let's grab our rebar frame. We got lots of concrete left. Let's put a bit of this in here. I want to make sure these corners where the guards are, are nice and secure. At least on the on the corners where the doors are. So the zombies don't just beat their way underneath them. I mean, I don't think it'll matter. Uh, this one, you know what? We don't have to have it stick out as far, though. Actually, it really isn't sticking out that far. Maybe we should keep it for symmetricality. I think we do that. We keep it for symmetricality. Yeah. All right, well, let's actually, you know what? Let's just take this bit out here. And then I'll just fill in this part of the wall. We gotta make more rebar anyway. So we'll fill this part in. All right, that's filled in. So now, that we have, all we have to do is put the door in there. That's all we have to do. Okay, starting to feel pretty good about this now. Of course, it'll all come to shithead in three days when they break through and kill everything. I destroy all my work here. Alright, let's get this stuff put away. Um, don't think we have anything that goes in here. Oh yeah, we have electrical parts that need to go in here. Oh, and then, of course, the steel and the iron. And then a bunch of stuff goes in here. Bring you down. Bring you down. And then this food and stuff needs to go in here. Okay, cool. Now, uh... We got our skill class book here we need to do something with. Now, um, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, grab the iron and the clay. And we'll see which one here is... But you got three minutes left. So let's get some steel going in you. Like 400 probably. And then in you... You still got 72 minutes. And you got, wow, two days. Um... Not sure how we got that, but whatever. So let's cancel this first. We'll do 300 rebar, and then the rest is iron. Or steel, I mean. We do that. I think that's how it's going to go. And then we can grab you out of there. And grab you too. Get that mixing. Yeah, we're starting to move along now. I just have to make sure I keep paying attention to that. We do have the auger. Do I want to go drop that stuff now? Yeah, let's go loot and stuff. 
We gotta get we gotta we gotta lose stuff. So okay, let's do recipes. What do we want though? Let's have a look here in the skills here. We got four skill points. So we were talking about security. That's gonna give us armor specialist. Master security gives us titanium spike club. Military armor, titanium armor. So we have to go master security to get it. So what's the survivalist is what gives us what here? The large backpack. M4A1. Cloth leather scrap, iron steel armor. We can make a radio. Jerky Mega Crush Survival Torch. What do we get down here? Um, better drug resistance, intrinsic immunity, intrinsic immunity, shrug off illness. Well insulated, it's just against heat and cold. Man, it's not a lot down here for this guy. Uh, mechanic we have, labor we have, hunter, huntsman, stealth assassin, master hunter gives us what? Rifles, bows, increase the range and duration of your tracking ability. Mm. See, the thing about scavenger too is it gives us better loot op or better uh, reward options for the trader. Plus it cranks up our, 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 where is it here? Yeah, increases our loot bonus, right? So Lucky Looter at 5 gives us a 100% loot bonus. Means it basically doubles our level, I think, when we're finding stuff. I wonder if we need to go scavenger. Um, do we go scavenger? What do we get for Master Scavenger, though? Increased bonuses, increased loot drops, chance of all enemies by 10%, increased crafting tier by 10% for pi or 10 for pistols. Unlocks the Desert Vulture. Ah. Uh, can't do anything here yet. We need more red pages for that. I think we can find armor. Wow, these guys are loud. I'm gonna go scavenger. Uh, recipes. Scavenger. Oops, recipes, right? Scavenger. Have to do it from here? There we go. Uh, maybe I was just being an idiot. Alright, scavenger class started. What do we need? What do we got? What do we need? Um, I read that treasure map last night too, the extra one that we had. So we need plant fibers. Okay, this looks like we just have to make a uh, rocks, plant fibers, make a stone axe. Back to the stone age for us. Portable lay. Oh yeah, we can only be looted. Um, Sharp rocks, craft. We need do we need a stick for a stone axe? I don't think so. Right, we don't need one. Okay, we got that. Okay, scrap you. You got any dye? We did. Got blue dye. One I couldn't get before. Wold water and charred meat. Wold water. Yeah, we have to make charred meat. All right, fine. And we gotta go kill that zombie. Well, what's a horde? See if we can. What's up, Mo? What's up, other Mo? What's up, other spider zombie? Hey guys! Get up! Come on! Fight me! Fight me like a zombie! Just 
disturbed tourist. You're a broken tourist now. All right, what do we got? Oh, a bow. A little better than the one we have. That's nice. The only difference is durability. Pretty much it. Some nails. Eh. All right, so that's actually not bad. Uh-huh. Where are you? There you are. Oh. Nice. At least we get the kill on that one. I think I, I'm, I'm... I think I hear someone banging somewhere. Take a quick look around here. Yeah, we got some work to do on this side. Oop. Where's that goop? There it is. Alright, sounds all quiet now. Oh, except for you. But you didn't like that exchange of blows, huh? Oh. That was weird. I double clicked it and, and I didn't think it was going to work, but it did. Alright, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? We were doing something up here. Oh yeah, scavenger class, right. Bottle of water, charred meat should be done. Boom. Oh, did I make more than I needed to? How did I make four with ten meat? Okay, frames, we need 38, that's easy enough. It's the placing them and, and upgrading them that I friggin' hate. Let's just make another... 30 more afterwards, so we have some on us for us. Alright, so you... We get anything that doesn't go in there? No. Uh, what about in here? You guys. Might as well use up all you guys. Get them out of my inventory. Okay, the blue die. Uh, what else needs to go and where? You. Get you guys and that. Um, we, we need 150 wood frames. Oh, man. Make another, what, 60? Sure. Place them. We gotta place 100, though. Alright, where are we gonna place those? Uh, steel goes here. That's for sale you down. We'll do this. Actually, we can modify you. Complete. And then we should be able to just kind of like... Ooh, 37. That's nice. Reload you. Excellent. Sell this stuff. That can go in here. There. Stone. Alright, place wood frames. Oh, man. Ah, it's going to be... So annoying. Where are we going to put them? I mean, I guess... I don't know. I just don't know. All right, I'm going to check these things out. Do we, like... Do they only work once? Then you have to build new ones? Seems kind of weird that that would be the case. Okay, so you know what? I guess we can just go in...
and update them on the inside. Like, ah, man, I want to do all this with rebar, though. I don't want to do it with freaking crappy wood. Um. All right, here we go. Right here. Well, the one thing I have been learning, though, I think now, the the cloth armor worked, served us well through the first bit of the game. Now it has to go away. We need to go with, um, like, we definitely have to move away from mobility and go to defense. I think, because the zombies are just relatively just general, generally fast, in general. So, you know, at this point, they're all ferals pretty much. So, I mean. Being quick is not really going to help us all that much. So we just have to expect to be hit. Alright, there's that done. Door and chest. Uh, craft. And craft. Alright, what else do we need? Plant fibers, feathers. Uh, Okay, there's those. We need stones, we need feathers. Might as well get them out here. Uh, we need to make a wooden club. Make a primitive bow, yeah. So all we need now is stones. There's one. Oh, come on. Just one freaking stone. There it is. And then two arrows. All right. There we go. It doesn't matter what we make it out of. Hey, did I not make two? Oh, I mean, I only have one cloth on me, duh. There we go. Done. All done. So let's see what that gives us. Let's get inside first so we don't uh, get ourselves whacked out here. Alright, so scavenger. Let's see what that gives us here. Um, and scavenger. So we start off with one in each. So let's crank up Lucky Looter as far as we can go. Ooh, all the way up. Nice. And then I think we'll turn up Charismatic Leader, or Nature. Or do we want to go... What level are we now? Are we at a point where we can do level 65? I don't think we can do um, the next level of crafting for guns and stuff. This is level 80, right? Yeah. Do I want to crank up weapon and science crafting, though? Science crafting decreases our crafting time and puts us one closer to getting to tier 3. This is level 82, though, I think. Yeah. Um, now, let's hold on to that. Let's go with... Let's do this. Alright, cool. Now we can get outside and actually go do stuff. Uh, we can scrap this. Scrap you, scrap you. Keep those. Those are going to get sold. So let's put some stuff away here. Save that one stone. Never know when you're going to need it. Alright, now you have got a fetch quest for us already. Which is at the jailhouse. That's an easy one. Now, what do you have for us? Are Another they good today? Wonderful morning in the apocalypse. Isn't it? How can I help you? Um, got any jobs? Any close by? Fetch clear. If you do this for me, Church. I will. Oh, thank goodness. Sure. I couldn't find anyone to do that job. Let's see if you'll take this stuff. All right, well, we got two things left over. <laughs> you just brightened my day. Yeah, you brightened mine, too. I'm glad I could help you. Uh, let's just throw them in here. 
I've been remembering the things are there, so it's not so bad. Now let's go ahead and do um, storage. We'll put you two in there. And do that. Excellent. Uh, I can't fit between there. Gotta go on a diet. Alright, let's see where this church is. I don't know if that's the... It's not the big church, is it? I don't think so. I don't remember seeing that in this town. That's a low-flying buzzard over there. Alright, um... He's gonna follow me, though. So this is one I haven't done before. Okay, cool. I like it when there's, like, POIs I haven't done before. You coming? No? Alright, well, let's get her done. This is a fetch and clear. Should we go around? I guess we can't go around the outside. Oh, we got an open door. I always expect there to be somebody behind the door when there's an open door. Ah, oh, shit, they're all gonna come down. Fucking wake up, then. Runners. See how much work we can get done with the bat first before we gotta pull a gun out. Get up. Get up. Get up. No? Didn't think so. Didn't think so. Oh man, we're gonna need a drink. Should've checked that. Um, storage. Let's use two of these. Beat people up with the bat's gonna make us thirsty. Listening to talkers makes me thirsty. You're a talker. Sandor Clegane. Okay, quiet here. You know what? We're going to go up this way. Let's go upstairs. And we'll smoke the guys up here, then hopefully should be able to shoot down from the balcony. Fuck off, bird. Okay. She's coming up. Oh. No fair. You took the express elevator. Alright, that bird's outside. We got another guy. Oh, that's the bird. Alright. Let's go deal with the bird. Come on, fuck with. Let's go. Eh. Foul ball. He's still dead, though. I think we're supposed to go up and over. Let's just try and go... Wait, is that the end of the day? Am I hearing crickets because it's the end of the day? Already? Not surprising. Oh, great. As long as the zombies are spawned in before nightfall, you shouldn't have to deal with too many horrible zombies. Yeah, 
that's this. That's it. Hopefully it's just that last guy outside. And then we can go home in the dark. I'm okay with that. Let's go kill this bird. Uh, out this way. Because I think that is the night time. That was a really quick day for some reason. Oh, you cheeky buzzard. Is that it? Clear area is done. Nice. So all we have to do is find the supplies, which are over here somewhere. No. What? Are they hidden underneath here? There they are. There we go. Nice. Let's loot this place. Do I have my looting goggles on? I do. Let's just go grab the big stuff downstairs. Alright, nothing there. Anything in here? Ooh, okay, we got something we can break down. Just grab it all. I start getting eating cloth, so I might as well grab as much cloth as I can too while I'm here. Okay, it's this. Nothing there. Toolbox. All right, some stuff to sell. It's always good. Anything in here? Dead body. Not sure what that room was supposed to be, but whatever. Office. That's the safe. Grab those. Alright, not bad. What do we got in here? Shotgun ammo. Oh my god, really? Well, that's not. Oh, yeah, Iron Breaker, baby. That's a tier 3 mod, so glad to see that. And is that it down here? Bookshelves. Alright, let's start breaking a few things apart. Okay, anything else? Oh, books that I missed. That's nice. This will give me mechanical parts. Alright, so not so bad. I mean, is there anything up here? I don't think so. We'll go up and across just in case. This is kind of a nice POI though. Like it's it's the design is really nice, you know. Okay, we had food down here. Empty water glass, thanks. I know I said I needed empty water jars, but not like that. We grab anything we can out of here before we go. These things would give us brass. Apparently candles too. Alright, any more brass? Anything back here? Nothing back there. That is... Oh, that's iron. Oh, that's interesting. It looks brass, but it's actually iron. Alright, we better get home. Like I said, it's not so bad. Like, we do a pretty good job hacking through zombies. But once night comes, the zombies that spawn in are like nighttime zombies. And they're always a problem, so... I'd rather be home for that. I'd rather be home when all the ferals show up. I mean, we're getting a lot of ferals in the building as it is now. But, uh, I'm sure they're a lot worse at night. Alright, so for this next Horde Night, uh, definitely want to have the turrets up and running. Let's just scrap some stuff here. So I'm going to scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. Uh, we'll just go ahead and take out the yellow die out of you. Green die out of you. 
don't think she wants the boots anyway, but we'll see if we can pawn them off to her. Well, you're here early. Early? What can I do Good for job. You? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah, look at this. Way better. Take a silencer mod. We've already got one, but we might as well take another one. Oh, we only get one? Oh, right, because I don't have... Right, I need to have it up to max level. Yeah, it's all right. Um, do any other work? Not yet, eh? Any jobs? Anything good? A fetch to the southeast. Day 32. I mean, we could knock off two quick fetch fetches tomorrow. Oh, we got more stuff to sell you. Oh, there's a beautiful bow in there, too. We're going to keep... Uh, may I see your inventory? Uh, that's a scrapper. We're going to keep that. This can go... You can go. You guys can go. Ooh, double the price. Yeah, you don't want that. Take that, though. The wrench. This guy can go. That we're keeping. Is there anything else? I thought there was something else we wanted to sell. Oh, double barrel shotgun. Oh, yeah, in this round. We don't need the, uh... The non-high explosive rounds. We want the ones that are going to fragment on the zombies and not blow up all our blocks. Alright, that's that. Remember me if you need medical supplies. Oh, I will. Actually, the guy upstairs sells better medical gear than you do, so... Sorry to say that, but it's true. Thought I heard somebody. Nope. Apparently not. Alright, uh... Yeah, I'll leave that there for sale. Alright, I'm gonna put this stuff away and see how much forged steel we got now. We need 500 for the car. I'd like to have that before the next Horde Night, which I think should be easily doable. Um, might as well just scrap these guys. Should be easily doable. I can scrap this too. Actually, let's swap out this bow first here. So this guy does... Thirty-four range damage with iron arrows. This guy does... Thirty-eight. So it's marginally better. What's the rate of fire on this thing? Doesn't say. Nor on this one. Fifty project projectile velocity, sixty is a little better. A lot more durability though. Yeah, I think we go with this one for now. Uh, I'm gonna keep the old one though. Just in case I'm not liking the feel of this one. And we'll put this stuff away here, and then uh, tomorrow when we come back, um, we're probably going to pull out those two quests tomorrow, because uh, I think we can get those done relatively quick. So, uh, if we take the one to the southeast from her, did we take that one? We didn't take it. What do we got going on over here, scavenger class? Um, actually, do you? Uh, you know what? Let's just scrap that job. I think the, uh, the fetch is really... We could do it fast, but... Ah, okay, let's do them. Let's do... F I'll take the other one from her. We'll do the two fetches fast. That should finish up tier two, I think. At least I hope it does. Uh, you got any jobs? Fetch two you to the southeast. To some yeah. Back soon, and I'll have a nice reward for you. Thanks. So we'll probably just break into the houses, or break into the stuff, and then grab the, the bag and leave. If we're near the main loot, great. If we're not, we're not. That's fine. Alright, but I'm going to leave this episode here. Our lights didn't come on because this is not turned on, because I can't leave it turned on. Right. i got to set up new power for the lights. Ah, oh, man. So much to do. Alright, I'm going to leave the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time. We'll see you later.